Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theorists and hope you enjoyed my fight preview I put together and now it's time to talk about this matchup of Hit vs Jiren, a fight that defies time. Now Hit is my favorite introduction of a character in Dragon Ball Super and I feel this fight against Jiren we will finally get to see Hit push beyond his limits and hopefully some backstory as well. We still don't know much about Hit or the origins of this thousand year old legendary assassin. Obviously Hit can improve and in the preview we see him eventually coming through with an attack that lands on Jiren and looks like it did damage him. Hit has a plethora of abilities that defy time and dimensions and with Hit stating that he is working and universe is on the line he might have to pull out all the stops including some of his most deadly assassin techniques. I know if you kill you get disqualified but what choice does Hit have if he loses and gets erased anyways? So better to go down swinging and take the biggest threat on the stage with you is what I think Hit has in mind. If there is anyone that stands a chance against Jiren it would would be hit because I believe he is the most technical fighter there and a brilliant strategist. Let's be honest, there is no one that is going to outpower Jiren and in order to beat him with these rules you just have to get him off the edge of the stage. So can hit outsmart Jiren is the real question. I think it's possible, however Jiren is still a massive mystery. We honestly know nothing about this fighter. He has no apparent weakness when finishing off Goku and hit jumped him he easily countered it. To focus on a comment when Belmod was talking to Margarita and said it's foolish to think of Jiren in a practical sense, Jiren is a being that will never lose, no matter who he is up against. This is a pretty chilling statement and what is even more peculiar is that Margarita, who is an angel, seems to have no knowledge or information about Jiren. Belmog clearly knows more about this unbeatable fighter than her. Now I believe that we have to focus on a couple things for this fight, one hit will improve and will eventually get to Jiren with a technique. The problem is after this happens and hit now feels confident that he can defeat him, Jiren will actually display the bulk of his hidden power that he has been hiding, letting Hit know that it is absolutely hopeless to defeat him. Goku was improving in the fight against Jiren with his Ultra Instinct and even though as Piccolo said with every block, he hits Jiren more quickly, sharply and heavily. Goku never could gain any ground on Jiren. Even at the end using the last bit of his power up was only able to land a knee and it had no effect on him. The reason is Jiren was only fighting Goku still with a small portion of his power. Everyone could sense that Jiren is still hiding something truly special when he was pushing back the spirit bomb with just a glare. So when Goku was at his limit in his new form Jiren is actually still just warming up. So no matter how much Hit can try to improve he just won't be able to close the gap on Jiren because of how massive the difference in power is. I don't think Jiren has even revealed a fraction of his power yet as there is no need to. So I think Belmod is right and Hit will be defeated by Jiren. Then it will be up to the rest of Universe 6 and 7 to figure out what they can possibly do to stop this insane fighter. And maybe the Universe 6 Namekians are finally revealed and help a very wounded Hit to safety. Now I want to know what you guys think. Does Hit's secret techniques actually damage Jiren? Do you think Jiren is still holding back the majority of his power and in the end Hit has no chance of winning? I always love to hear your theories in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to support the channel and keep those theories coming.